Hey, welcome to my channel. My goal in this video is to show you the Recycler View component on Android, which is the primary way to show a scrollable list of content. Pretty much every modern Android app today will use the Recycler View in some form or another. We're going to build an app from scratch, written in Kotlin, which implements the full Recycler View functionality in fewer than 50 lines of code. I encourage you to code with me. I'm going to keep copy and paste to a minimum. And since there's only 50 lines of code to write, it should be easy for you to follow along. I'll share my source code for the completed project in the description. And I'll also give you some ideas for how to extend the basic app that we built. Let's start by taking a look at what we're going to build. Here's a screenshot of what a completed app might look like. We're going to create a new app which has a single screen or in Android terms, a single activity. This activity will have a recycler view where each view in the recycler view consists of three different components. First, there's an image view on the left, followed by two text views, one which is for the name of the person, followed by the age of the person. Here you can see that we're creating dummy data. So each person is named person one, two, three, and so on. And the age of that person is asked the person's number. But you can easily imagine that we could read this data in from a file in internal storage or get this data over the internet through some API. We're actually going to create the app in two steps. First, we're going to build the basic recycler view, which will just have the person's name and age. And then second, we're going to include the image data, which we'll be using Glide, the image loading library, to make our life really simple. The total amount of code we write for the completed project is going to be fewer than 50 lines of Kotlin. In my videos, I'm going to be referencing some guides that come from CodePath. CodePath is an awesome nonprofit organization which creates high quality, free articles about mobile development. So if you Google for CodePath Recycler View, you should be able to get to this article about using the Recycler View. You can see here, the Recycler View is intended to be a replacement for earlier components in Android called List View and Grid View. If you're not familiar with what these are, don't worry too much about it. But Recycler View is intended to be a more extensible framework. So there are several different components as part of the Recycler View. First, you have the adapter, which is intended to handle the data collection and bind it to a view. So you can kind of think of the adapter as the glue between your data set. So in our case, the set of contacts, the set of people that we have, and a view. The layout manager is intended to help with positioning items. And you have a separate item animator component which helps to animate items for things like adding or removing an item from your data set. One of the important points about the Recycler view is that it begins to enforce a pattern called the view holder pattern. So if you open up this guide, which is linked, go all the way to the top, there's a section here about row view recycling. And this is actually where the Recycler view gets its name from because it's recycling different row views. So the main concept here is that items that leave the screen are kept in memory for later use. And then every new row that enters the screen reuses an older row kept around in memory. So you could imagine there are so many apps out there that have hundreds, thousands, or even millions of items in their data set. But we don't want to inflate a brand new view for every item in our data set. Instead, we only need to show as many views as will be shown onto the screen to the user. So here you can see in this example that as the user is scrolling up, this view is moving off the screen. And so it goes into a scrapped view pile. And when a new view comes onto the screen, instead of creating a brand new view, we'll take a view from the dirty pile, the scrapped pile, and simply bind data to it. So we're recycling these views in this scrap pile. And that's essentially what Recycler, Recycler View will do for us. This idea is really important, especially in mobile apps, because you're always operating in a memory and power constrained environment. So typically, mobile phones aren't connected to their power source all the time. And you also don't want your phone to become too hot. And so for expensive operations, such as inflating a view from an XML file and inflating it and showing it onto the screen, you want to avoid that as much as possible. So using Recycler View will ensure that you're not being wasteful in memory allocations by creating more views than you need to. What was optional with list view, this row view recycling, is now a mandatory part of Recycler View. Now that we have an understanding of Recycler View and why we use it, let's start building the app. 